wasn't ready for that to be that hard right there dang <laughs> that was tough so i guess buttress wood you know is going to be tough the this is a crepe myrtle that i'm felling here probably five to six inch diameter and i did a crepe myrtle is supposed to be pretty soft so i didn't expect it to be so tough at the bottom but we're getting it done i'm just clearing a chip there this was a real fun thing for me to do. Really, the, to me, this is the first time I've felled a tree with an axe. I know it's small, but you got you got what you got, and this tree needed to go down. It's got a heavy lean towards a, a structure, towards the right, screen right, and uh, we'll talk about that more in uh, later in this video. We'll watch this together, though. So I'm going low stump. This is a this is a really cool lumber. Uh, it's super figured, commonly figured, and it, and I'll show you that uh, at the end of the video in a picture. Um, it, it's all figured. Very cool. So I wanted to keep it so low stump. Plus, you know, there's that new challenge. Uh, I think it's for 8-inch diameter trees or more to, to go 6 inches. Well, it wasn't 6 inches, was it? I think it's 6 inches uh, or below. And this is pretty much to the ground, so I went pretty low. Maybe my face cut is a little big, but um, the bottom of my face is not is not high. It's very low. It's, it's like an inch off, inch or two, maybe two inches off the ground at most. And here we're just cleaning up. A little more cleanup. So on this left side, um, it's pretty high. It's a lot higher up than the right side of the uh, face. So later on, I gotta gotta kind of dig into it just to make sure that the tree doesn't roll that way. Um, not that I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but you know, I've I've done a pretty decent amount of research about felling. I've I've watched a bunch of some very uh, experienced guys talk about it over and over again big i've watched a lot of buck and billy ray videos a lot of guilty of treason videos um got a bunch of friends that are that are you know part of the tree services or you know arborists so i didn't feel too uncomfortable it's a small tree and while it is leaning on a house i wasn't too afraid i thought that i'd be able to handle it well And here we go. Here's the back cut. I was really surprised how, how my axe wasn't really penetrating very well. About a 25 degree angle on this axe. So maybe it could have been a little keener. But I'd say this is a utility edge. It's supposed to last pretty good. But still penetrate pretty decent. It really does help to have a keen axe. So here I am looking at that side of uh, the hinge. I don't want to cut too far because that's where I really need my hinge wood. So it doesn't go towards the right, screen right. So I kind of work my way. I'm, I'm getting the side. And then I go to the other side. And then I realize there's a little bit of middle left. So, And it was just a little uncomfortable for me to swing so I, this is not I'm not on my knees for safety I'm on my knees because it's uncomfortable for me to swing so low low stumps are tough guys that guys that fell trees on low uh, with a low stump all the time they're good skilled skilled stuff you can see how low the stump is uh, in this angle now I started swinging like this with my knee up and that really I don't know what hurt I forget what it was my hip, but that felt awkward. I had to. I probably should have changed that quicker. Yeah, you see me go back down. Not gonna show most of the limbing uh, because I'm saving some of this lumber, and I wasn't doing it all with an axe because I didn't want a uh, cut like that. I wanted a straight cut, so just one limb, and I'll show you some pictures after. I was really happy with that. That was right where I wanted it to go. 
first time felling a tree and I'm doing it with an axe pretty much. My accuracy in this video is not very good, I'll have to say that. <laughs> nice stuff. Not bad.